Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. On this episode, we discuss earning your patch, the culmination of the hard work, the blood, the sweat, and tears, the time you put in to get that top rocker. And we get into it on this episode of Demons Row TV. No, yeah, we ghosting, baby. Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening, and today we're gonna talk about it. All your hard work, the culmination of so much hard work. Let me know in the comments the crazy stuff you had to do, but we all had to put in work. That's the common denominator right there. So that feeling when your president or your sergeant of arms or your sponsor, however your club works, hands you that leather, hands you that denim, depending on what club you're in, that feeling, we're gonna get into that. But the first thing I want you to do, like we always do on this channel, is to hit me with that pound toasting. And that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on twos, doing what you do, or just part of the Demon's Row community, one of my ghosts. Shout to all my new subscribers, welcome to the row. Big shout to everybody that's been rocking with me since day one. Big shout to my crew, Big John, Amanda Serrano. We doing major things right now. Shout to everybody that's been supporting the Demon's Row clothing. Follow the Sos the Ghost page. Follow me on Instagram at Sos the Ghost underscore at Demons Row. And let's get into it. This week's certified ghost that goes out to Tennessee. Win Dixie. Oh, yeah. One of my closest homegirls represent that Raven Dixie line. Go check out her clothing. Go check out her YouTube. She's a pillar in the community. When you are a certified ghost stat, five ghosts. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Earning that full patch that you put so much work in. And this is why it's so important to prospect, to hang around. Because that long stretch of hanging around, getting to know the brothers that you want to consider your family because when you throw that top rocker on that is now considered your family that top rocker my og nick said when you get that top rocker that's like getting your last name that's how serious it is for some of these mcs depending on what type of club you in if you're in a more serious club like mine it's like getting your last name it's a very serious major thing that you have to work very hard for and it doesn't get handed to you easy to all my prospects out there that are working hard doing what they got to do putting in that work to get fully patched hit me with a pound prospect let me know you're doing your thing and if you are a fully patched member hit me with a pound fully patch and rep your mc i like to see what clubs and what states you know everybody's coming out of and and how we all gel together we got people from like africa and australia and new zealand new york you know like all over the world the uk it's just crazy the collective of people on this channel and in this community now getting fully patched is one of the greatest moments like i'll never forget the day that i got fully patched and let me know some prospect stories too in the comments let me know your prospect story of when you got fully patched I'll, I'll never forget the day i got fully patched it was such a surprise it was last minute 
they just shocked me you know what i mean and it was like you feel like a little kid opening a christmas gift like it's it's an amazing feeling so that's why i say there's no sunshine without the rain if you don't put in work you're never gonna feel that that feeling that i got to feel when i finally got that cut and i've seen people in clubs that get fully patched from the door and it always ends with them leaving sooner or later they never they'll take that cut off in two seconds they'll have an argument and that cut will come off but when you that prospect that hung around for a year that prospected for a year maybe prospected for two years six months whatever the timing was you will not let that cut go easily you will wear that cut like it's your last name and it should be and you should never let anyone touch your cut or disrespect your cut and you need to understand that now you are held accountable for the reputation of your club if somebody questions you about anything involved in your club you need to know proper protocol you need to know what things mean you need to know how to protect your brothers if something goes down when you're a prospect you have every excuse in the book not to know something once you're fully patched you're expected to know the game no more no more excuses you're held accountable for everything when you're a prospect ask a lot of questions and i hope if you got fully patched that you did that and you asked a lot of questions and you learned what you needed to know because once you're fully patched and you hit that street and you jump on that bike you're accountable for everything that comes with that like i said before that top rocker that's now your last name you are a brother and you do represent a nation when you're a prospect most clubs have either the town or the state or probationary or probate whatever it is underneath the cut but once you're repping a town or a state even more if you're in a one percent club now you hold the weight of that state and that top rocker and your brothers are counting on you to know what you're doing and to understand every situation so that's why i don't understand why people are so against prospecting prospecting is the period where you are not held accountable and a lot of people lack accountability so why wouldn't the prospect phase be more love because once you're fully patched all excuses go out the door when you're fully patched your job is just starting you see a lot of prospects washing every bike at every event anytime you need them they're right there and then when they get fully patched there's nowhere to be found and then you know what happens your cut gets taken you get ran down on and you don't understand why do not fall off continue to keep the momentum going and like i remember a brother of mine used to always say forever a prospect that is a mentality that you have to have because your brothers should never ask you to do something that they wouldn't do their self you should still feel that you can do the same things that you did as a prospect as a fully patched member and i got some brothers that just got fully patched and i swear the way they move you would think they were still a prospect still helping out you know that's the type of person you want to be you don't want to be so hollywood once you get that cut that you fall back because a lot of people lose their cut because of it just because you get fully patched does not mean that that patch won't get taken off your back just as quickly you gotta hold it it's like a boxer it's like amanda serrano she can't just hold on to the title she knocks people out to keep that title so you got to keep the same energy and still keep doing your thing keep putting in work and don't get lax because i see it a lot of people get lax once they get fully patched so when you get that full patch it's usually at an annual or a special ceremony some people do challenges let me know in the comments if you had to do a challenge i've seen where people get they have to walk through a line and take some blows to get to the cut i've seen where nomads get sent out on a dummy mission somewhere far and then they tell them to turn all the way back like you'll be in in uh let's say we start off and we're in florida they'll tell you meet me in north carolina you'll grab something and then they'll tell you all right 
now meet me in uh, Chicago. So when you're there at Chicago, everybody's there waiting for you. It's a big party. And it's like, you see, if you, if you went that far and over years or over a year or whatever that it took you to get fully patched, all the work you put in, you're gonna that that's gonna be so crazy to you like when you step into that it's gonna be an amazing feeling so this goes to everything in life anything that you get easy is never gonna mean shit to you if you work hard for something it's always gonna be like the greatest accomplishment but if you just get it easy it's not worth anything and me i'm the type of person i don't want anything that comes easy i'm okay with putting my work in and if a club is not gonna make you put your work in, then that shows you they're not worth the effort that it takes to put in that work. It says a lot about a club if they'll patch you that quick. Now, if it's a patch over, that's a different situation because a whole club is patching over. So there's different politics that come in with a patch over or a new chapter in a new area. There's different stuff that we can get into on other episodes. But if you're coming in, a prospect or a hang around and you're working your way up the ladder there is no better feeling than knowing that you put your work in nobody could ever tell you that you got anything for free you work hard for everything that you got and there's nothing worth more than that that is the best feeling hard work hard work pays that's the same thing with demons road tv i've been doing this for a year and a half every week without fail i don't miss a week and look, the results are showing. Our community is growing. I'm, I'm getting so many relationships with so many great people. If I was trying to do instant gratification, I would be like one of these channels, just paying for views and, and, and getting no real reach, not building a community, acting like I'm better than everybody. And that's not what I do here. This is a platform that it's about all of us. It's not just me. I'm the host of the show, but it's about all of us. And that's why I say, as long as it's respectful, I wanna hear everybody's opinion. Like I have no problem debating. I'm a Libra, so I, I'm debatable anyway. Like I could go either way. I'm the type of person, if you lay down facts and you can show me factually how I'm wrong, I'm not gonna ride off emotions. I'm gonna be like, you know what, you are right. And that's the problem with a lot of people. They can't hold themselves accountable. They can't work hard and they can't say, you know what, I'm wrong, you're right. And learn something from it. They gotta act like they're always right. And that's why they don't progress. And that's why they don't shine. So this community, we work hard. We put in work for everything we get. And maybe that's why our community is the best community to me. I really believe that when I say it. And I feel like that resonates with the show. I really believe that this is the best community because we put in work. A lot of communities do not put in work. A lot of people in our culture came for military. And how much work do you gotta put in to be in the, in the military? You know what I mean? You gotta do the most extensive training in the world to be in the military. So if you could do that, joining the MC is a little lighter load than the things that you have to do in hand-to-hand -hand combat and all the type of stuff that you got to do but don't get it twisted joining the MC you got to put in work and depending on what club you're in it gets worse you know it's, it's harder work and if you're still prospecting never ask when you're gonna get fully patched I know I don't think I've said that on a show yet but that's one major thing that I know some of the brothers, if you ask when you're gonna be fully patched, they will extend your time. I know people that were just on the verge of getting fully patched and they asked and their time got extended and they didn't even know it. So never ask when you're gonna get fully patched. And I feel like a lot of people don't tell people that because it's kind of a cheat code, but that's what Demon's Row is about. I cheat. And I want y'all to be like super MCs out here. So the more you know, the stronger our community will be. So this is a weapon that you can use to your advantage. Let me know in the comments if you just got fully patched. If you did, congratulations. Big shout to everybody that works hard and does their thing to get where they wanna get in life. That's what it's all about at the end of the day growing taking care of our family riding on motorcycles you know the saying riding never hiding support the demons roll merch rep that on your motorcycle and thank you for tuning in the demons roll tv 
the holy grail of MC culture, like, subscribe, and comment. Share this on your feed so you could teach some people that are lacking knowledge because a lot of people don't have the knowledge and they don't have the OG to give it them. I'm lucky, I'm blessed. I have an OG that really guides me through this walk. And as much as I learn, I want to give it back to a certain extent. You know what I mean? As, as much as we could do on YouTube. But everybody rise safe out there. And no, yeah, we ghosting, baby.